Hi, this is Dan from the M4A. How's it going? Today, we are going to be going through a warm-up video. So before we get started, we're just going to go through some of the benefits of a warm-up. So what are the benefits of warming up? So the first benefit of the warm-up is increased blood flow to muscles. This allows your heart and blood vessels to ease into the exercise. The next benefit includes increased body temperature, and this reduces the chance of muscle and tendon injuries. And the last main benefit of a warm-up is delivery of oxygen to muscles. This allows the muscles to recover faster in between rest. Okay, so moving on to the actual warm-up. I hope you enjoyed the video and in the comment section below, let me know what you think. Okay, so we're going to start with some light jogging. We're going to jog forward and back. So you want to take six steps forward, turn around, six steps back. You want to keep your core engaged, looking forward, and your back straight, landing softly on the legs. You're going to do this four times in total. Okay, so moving on to the jogging to pick up, you're going to pick something up at the side twice each way. You're going to bend down, bending the knees, back straight, picking something off the floor. Make sure to take a small jog in between all the pickups as well. Okay, so we're going to go on to our jog into heel flicks. We're going to try to get our heel to our backside, doing eight each way. Make sure your back is straight and your core is engaged, getting those legs up. And this is going to warm up your knee joints. Okay, so moving on to our jog and knee raises. We're going to do the same as our heel flicks, eight each way, getting those knees up, back straight, core engaged. Looking forward, this is going to mobilize our hip joints and make sure to land softly on your feet as well. Alright, so the next step in our warm up is to warm up our shoulders. So we're going to go with our shoulder rotations. We're going to try to do eight each way, back and forward. You're also going to go backwards as well, and we're going to do eight of those. You want to make sure you're doing nice big circles, keeping the back nice and straight as well. Okay, so next on our list is to do the jog into jump. We're going to do two jumps with one jog in between. You're going to do this both ways, nice and high, landing softly on the legs. Here we're kind of working on our power as well okay so moving on to some shooting we're gonna do two shoots each way switching sides each time this is going to be effective during our takedowns as it works on the speed as well Okay, so moving on to some sprawls. We're gonna do two sprawls with a little jog in between. You're gonna try to get your hip down to the floor. If you're starting with your left hip, for example, go to your right hip in the next one and so on. This is gonna work on your full body Okay, so the next exercise of the warm up is the walk out push up to jump. You're gonna do three of these walking out, pushing, and then jumping. You wanna make sure to keep that core engaged, your back straight, looking forward as well. You're gonna do three on the way back as well. This exercise, you're bringing in your abs, your chest, and also your legs as well. Okay, so moving on to some bear crawls, we're gonna go for three each way. As you can see, we're crawling to one side, then switching to the other side. You're gonna do this three times in total. We're also gonna go backwards as well, going for three. In this exercise, you're kind of working on your shoulders, your core, and also bringing in your legs as well. Okay, we're gonna start with some neck rotations. We're gonna do four circles each way to loosen out the neck. Make sure to do this nice and slow. Okay, so moving on to our shoulders, we're gonna do our elbow bumps to extension. You wanna do four of these, as you can see, we're bumping with our elbows first and extending our arms you want to work at a 2-2 tempo as well so you're going to do two and then two this is going to loosen out our elbows and also work on our shoulders mainly our rear delts okay so next we're going to create small circles with our arms make sure to keep those circles nice and small this is going to activate all our deltoids at least mobilizing the shoulder joint as well okay so we're going to start mobilizing our wrists all you want to do is interlock your fingers and you want to make small circles with the hands it's definitely important to mobilize the wrist joints as you can easily injure them you're gonna do eight of these okay so moving on to our trunk rotations we're gonna mobilize our back we're gonna put our hands out to our side and we're gonna do eight in total for each way make sure your back is nice and straight also this is mainly gonna target our lower back okay so we're gonna start mobilizing our hips we're gonna put our hands on our sides keeping the back straight sure to keep those feet planted on the floor and we're gonna create big circles Okay, so we're going to separate our legs, bending over, make sure to tap three times so you're starting out and working our way in. Here you can see a side view of what to do. So you can see that I'm tapping out, in, and then even deeper, and then make sure to calf raise up and over our head. And you're going to do four of these in total. Okay, so we're going to start mobilizing the knees. So we're going to put our two hands on our knees, 
back straight bending over and creating small circles with our knees and we're gonna do eight each way in total okay so we're gonna get down into a squatted position and we're gonna lean to each side so make sure to hold this position this is gonna loosen out our hips and our knees as well and you're gonna go three each way in total and make sure to keep it back nice and straight okay so we're gonna move on to the stretching phase of our warm-up we're gonna start with our next stretches we're gonna hold stretch for five seconds on each side and then we're also gonna hold the stretch downwards Okay, so moving on to our cross the body stretch, we're going to hold for 5 seconds on each arm. This is going to stretch our deltoids and also our tricep muscle. Okay, moving on to this chest stretch, you're going to interlock your fingers and you're going to push those shoulders back, stretching out the chest. We're going to hold this position for 10 seconds. We're going to get into a split position and then reach forward, holding it for 10 seconds, making sure the back is nice and straight. Okay, so moving on to the lunge position stretch, you're gonna put one leg out, one leg back, and you're gonna push those hips forward, making sure the back is nice and straight. Okay, so moving on to the last stretch of our warm up, we're gonna do the cobra stretch, the child's pose. Make sure to hold each position for five seconds, and you're gonna do this twice. So the cobra stretch stretches out the abdominal muscles, so make sure to push those hips to the ground and also look upwards the sky. The child's pose stretches out our back muscles, so make sure to sit back and really reach forward. Okay, so thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.